Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you how to install any custom ROM in your HTC One. First and foremost, you have to unlock the bootloader of your phone and root your device. Uh, after you do that, installing a custom ROM is going to be easy as pie. Now, so before you do anything, watch my video that details step by step how to unlock and root your HTC One. I put a direct link to that video at the description section below. After that, come back here and watch this video. Now, if you have already done the routing process, then stay here and let's get started. So the first step is to actually create a full backup using your existing custom recovery. I'm currently using the Clockwork Mod Recovery, which makes backup very easy. So let's show you how to do that real quick. So a uh, power of your device. and then using the volume down and power key pressing them at the same time start the um, fast boot status and then navigate to recovery using the volume up or down once you're there press the power key to go into the recovery so we're gonna boot into the clock work mod recovery this is the touch version so I can touch the screen to navigate so go to backup and restore and then just tap backup and it's gonna start the process after it's done it's gonna tell you that backup is complete which I'm not doing because I already have a copy done so after you're done though go back to reboot the system and just restart the system as normal and just to clarify this backup this method of backing up backs up your entire phone as it is so you're not gonna lose anything once you restore from this backup alright just just to make that clear so let's move on alright so once your uh, phone boots back up I'm gonna have you connect your phone using the micro USB cable to your computer and the reason I'm doing this is because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take that backup we just created and put it on my computer as an extra backup and then uh, we're gonna move on to the next step alright so once we're looking at the computer I want you to go to my computer and when you connect your HTC one to your computer it's gonna pop just like this go inside go to the internal storage and then the backup that you just created using the clockwork mod recovery is actually saved in this folder right here it says clockwork mod go inside go to backup and this is the backup that we just made and you can see the date right here it's um, June 29 2013 and a bunch of numbers right next to it that's how you know it's today's backup that's the day I'm making this video so go inside and this is all the backup files what I did was I just copied this whole folder copy and I made a backup folder on my desktop right here and I pasted the whole thing right here which I'm gonna do right now so you can see okay so the backup is complete and just wanna clarify one thing the only reason I copied my backup from my phone to my computer is for emergency secondary backup additionally you can go back to your phone now and you can delete this backup because you already have a copy on the desktop and the reason you may want to delete this backup is because it may be too big okay so if you look at this backup it's 2.84 gigabytes so that's a huge file I may not need that um, file so I may want to delete it I'll just keep it because it's not that big and I don't have too much stuff on my HTC one as of yet okay so just make sure you do that and now we can move on to the next step alright so the next step is to actually find a custom ROM to install on your HTC one I'm going to go ahead and try the cyanogen mod and the reason I'm trying this one is because it is a very nice ROM and it's got a lot of features okay so you can go and download any ROM you want the same process applies to any custom ROM to install on your HTC one now let's uh, go to this website right here it's called wiki.cyanogenmod.org and then you're gonna see this main page click devices click show all devices 
and then in the list look for HTC one or you can do control F on your keyboard and type in H TC one and I've got mine right here the AT&T version so go inside and then download one of these versions they do not have a stable release yet by the time you're watching this video they may have a stable version just click that and make sure they do or they don't okay so right now they don't have it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download one of the nightly versions so this is the latest one and it was added today and when you watch this video 50 days from now or 100 days from now you will actually see the nightly release for that specific date but always try to go with a stable version if one is available so I just downloaded this on my computer and then once you're done downloading this what you have to do is you have to go to this website let's go back here it's called goo.im slash g apps okay and you have to download this package right here and what this package is is it ha it bundles together a bunch of Google apps that cyanogen mod doesn't come with like the Google Play Store which is very important if you don't have a Play Store you cannot install apps so you have to download this package and then just make sure the cyanogen mod version that you are downloading corresponds to the apps that you're downloading so if you go back here you can tell it's CM 10.1 so when you go to this website you're downloading it for CM 10.1 so just click this and start downloading the um, this file and then we will move on to the next step okay so once you're done downloading those two files this is what they look like they're both zip files and you're not gonna touch them you're not gonna extract these files so this is the gaps file with all the Google applications bundled into it and this is the actual custom ROM the Cyanogen mod and uh, what you have to do now is I'm assuming your phone is still connected to your PC if not connect it and you're gonna navigate into it go to the internal storage and all you want to do is copy and paste both of these guys into the root of your internal storage. I already have them here, so I'm not going to touch that. So that's going to take a couple seconds to transfer over. And let's actually move on to the next step, which is uh, we're done with the computer. Now we're going to focus back on the phone, and I'm going to show you how to install the whole thing. Okay, so here's our phone. And what we're going to do is we're going to power off this phone. and we're gonna boot into the fast boot mode so you're gonna press hold our volume down and power at the same time and there you are make sure you navigate into recovery okay using the volume button go down to recovery and then press power to select it <clears throat> okay so this is the system we're gonna use to download I mean to install these the custom ROM alright so once we're in the recovery what you wanna do is you wanna click wipe data factory reset you have to do this step every single time when you're installing a new custom ROM and then you also have to do a wipe cache partition okay so once you do that now you can actually click install zip from SD card which is going to take us to the internal storage of our phone even though it says SD card because we don't have one it becomes the internal storage by default and then what you want to do is you want to choose zip from SD card okay and then you can scroll all the way to the bottom this is the this is the place where we put the two files earlier using our computer okay and then just so let you know for those of you guys who do not have a touch version of this custom recovery you can use volume up and down like I'm doing right now and then you can click power to choose options okay so let me go down here see okay anyway ignore these other files these are the two files that I put in earlier so the one that starts with CM and the one that starts with gaps gaps is the Google Apps this is the actual custom ROM 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap this, and it's asking me if I want to install it, and I'm going to say yes. Okay, it's going to take a couple minutes here, maybe even faster. And that was quick, we're done. So I'm not going to do anything with gaps right away. I'm going to show you why we needed to download that package in the first place. So let's go back. Installation is complete, by the way. And reboot the system. And there we go. The Cyanogen mod is loading right now. And because this is the first time we're ever starting this operating system, this custom ROM, it's going to take a couple minutes. Okay, once that spiraling loading screen was complete, this is where you came to. So this is in fact, let's see, okay, the Cyanogen mod. Looks pretty amazing. This is almost looks like the stock version of Google Android uh, Jelly Bean and it works much like it but if you look carefully let's click OK here you're not gonna see any of the Google apps so you don't have Google Play Store you don't have Gmail you don't have the the browser you have a different browser right here and that is precisely why we downloaded the gaps uh, package so what you wanna do at this point is you want to power off your device Go back into recovery, volume down and power at the same time. Go back into recovery, go recovery, click power to choose. And this time we're going to go to install zip from SD card, just like the last time. Choose zip from SD card and then scroll all the way to the bottom and now we're gonna install gaps okay so click gaps say yes it's copying the files over to our system and we're done very quick reboot system now beautiful So this is upgrading all our apps. We're done. So when you unlock this time, um, you can click start. I'm going to skip all this stuff. Skip anyway. No not now click OK give it a name Saki Tech now your phone is a real phone with all the Google apps installed and this is the Cyanogen mod which is a very nice mod and if you go back in here now you'll see the Play Store and you can download every the talk and the voice search and all that stuff so now you can go to Google Play Store and you can start downloading any apps that you want but this is it this is in fact the cyanogen mod let's go in here settings at the bottom above phone and you can see it right here okay this is Android 4.2.2 oops 4.2.2 right there and um, that's it. This is how you install any custom ROM. You download the ROM that you want, and provided that your phone is uh, rooted and unlocked, 
all you do is you download the custom ROM, put it on your phone, go into your phone and install the ROM. And this will apply once again to any custom ROM. Well, thank you for watching this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos to come just like this. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. It's down in below in the um, underneath the video. There's a thumbs up button. Just click that. And um, if you have any questions, just shoot them down in the comment section below. And thank you once more for watching. Have a good day.